And we continue to follow the latest here in Trump's attempted assassination. We are getting big breaking news here on this Friday. This is all according to Senator Josh Hawley. He has whistleblowers coming to him that detail most of Trump's security detail working the event last Saturday were not even Secret Service. Again, we're not even Secret Service. DHS assigned unprepared and inexperienced personnel. So uh, this is the letter right now that um, Senator Josh Hawley just put out to uh, the Department of Homeland Security saying, I write to raise concerns brought to me by whistleblowers about your department's stunning failure to protect former President Trump on July 13th, 2024. In addition, whistleblower allegations suggest the majority of DHS officials were not in fact Secret Service agents, but instead drawn from the department's Homeland Security investigations. This is especially concerning given that these security investigators were unfamiliar with standard protocols typically used at these types of events according to the allegations. This is completely unacceptable and contrary to the public's interest in transparency. How did DHS determine to staff the event, including any decision to rely on state or local officers? What percentage of the DHS agents at the event were from HSI rather than the Secret Service? Were a majority of officers at the event drawn from HSI or other DHS components rather than Secret Service? If so, why? Were agents not appropriately stationed around the podium? Were the standard protocols followed for issuing designated pins to vetted personnel that are allowed backstage? How long did agents physically spend on the ground surveying the site before the event? Did any paperwork? I await your response. Again, that's Senator Josh Hawley from Missouri with these big, big whistleblower allegations that have come forward to Senator Hawley. And now this continues to be a major, major story here. And just really the complete breakdown of security protocols for the former president, Donald Trump. And we will continue to follow really every aspect of this story because it's such a big one. He almost lost his life. And it looks like now from these whistleblowers, they did not have the correct staff for Donald Trump that day. And that is a complete, complete breakdown. And every day it seems something new comes up in this investigation because, well, we haven't got the full story just yet. Secret Service still not giving those updates in a timely fashion. We'll be back. More to come on Live Now from Fox.